three councilwomen in Zachary, Louisiana, and she's got a lot of exciting things going on in her life. Uh, she plays a big role at the YMCA of the Capital Region, and especially in Zachary. Uh, so, Laura, why don't you introduce yourself and let us know how you would like to be known. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for having me. My name is Laura O'Brien. I am the executive director for the YMCA. That's my day job. Um, my part-time job is city council. So basically, I like to sell the city or sell District 3, which is where I live, work, and play. So that's how I like people to remember me as somebody who represents the city and will sell it at any chance. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so what are some exciting things we can expect from the YMCA in 2022? We have a lot of cool things going on. You know, we're a 501c3, so our big thing is to give back to our community, and that's one of the things I love to do personally. So we're going to continue this year with our special needs swim that is sponsored by the Bank of Zachary. Mm -hmm. um, it's free service for anybody that's special needs. It's just a time for them to get out, to play in the water, and hopefully learn how to swim or save themselves. Um, another big thing that we have is we're opening our outdoor gym. It's going to break ground um, in the next few weeks. It's going to be um, outdoor squat machines, um, pulley systems, TRX, um, anything that you can do inside, you can do outside. It'll be outdoor turf um, with a, a track on the side. So it's going to be really cool. It's going to be the highlight of our, our year this year. So. Oh, awesome. Is this going to connect at all to the proposed walking trails? In it will America? not. It will not no. connect to that. Okay. Um, it's all in walking distance anyway. It'll all be walking distance. So it'll be really accessible for the community, the Americana community itself. It's going to be in that pad where the child care is. Got it. So that's going to be really, really cool. Nice. Um, if you've been out to Americana, you've seen our new tennis courts. We have five new paved tennis courts and four exclusive pickleball courts, which were the first YMCA in Louisiana to have that. So um, it kind of sets us apart from any other Y and actually any other community near us. Yeah, uh, so we were kind of speaking a little bit before the interview about pickleball, uh, which is just taking the world by storm, apparently. Fastest uh, growing sport in America. Yes, and I, I, this is off script a, a little bit here, but I think you just uh, achieved a major pickleball accomplishment yourself. I did. I won the single ladies pickleball for 50 to 54 age group. I'm not ashamed of my age. Yeah. But um, so we'll be going to Fort Worth. No, no, no. Sorry. Take that back. I'm going to Fort Lauderdale in May to play in the National Senior Olympics. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> so that's going to play into your already busy schedule. Uh, you're taking it on the road. So uh, what are some big wins for Zachary um, in 2021? Let's kind of recap a little bit about that. Right. Before we jump there, let's kind of give a quick plug to where we are. We are at uh, Agave Blue, which is the most exciting new restaurant. It is. Uh, the, the newest restaurant yes. that has come to Zachary. Um, so please give them uh, some of your business. Yes, so. we're very excited to have them here. Yeah. Okay, so big wins for Zachary, 2021. So big wins, I think, have been the ability to sort of contain growth. It's something that I ran on in 2014 with smart growth. I didn't realize when I ran how hard it would be because you've got four other people voting and you hope that they vote the same way that you would. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we overcame a few obstacles with some help of other council members and some Metro council members to get some things redone ordinance wise that don't encourage track homes, um, small homes built on top of each other um, that lead to what we want. We want a, a community that we can go outside and play, we can go fish, we can ride our bikes, um, kids can have a good childhood here, and not that we're all just crammed together. So those are some things that I'm really excited about. Um, walking trails and walkability is some of the things that we strive to bring to mm -hmm. us, and I think that's going to be a continuation to the future. Awesome. Yeah, so I was going to ask you about uh, forward-looking plans in 2022. Uh, can you speak to District 3 in 2022 and Zachary as a whole if you want to? So, I mean, I'm, District 3 is my priority, but I think some things that have been coming to pass uh, are here now. The Walking Trail Americana, which is going to be amazing. It's going to be in the back of the subdivision. It'll link up to the Breck Park on 964. Okay. I'm hoping that we can convince all the retail along that strip to put in a sidewalk right there because there's that one piece that doesn't connect. Yeah. So I've reached out to all of them to put a sidewalk in, and it's really to their benefit to do that. I mean, mm -hmm. right now, if we get on a bike and go all the way to 
to the Breck Park, we can go to 964, but there's no safe place to go to those, get a cookie, get some coffee, yeah. just sit down and rest. You have to turn around and come back. If right. we join that, we'll have a complete loop around, back around to Americana. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping we can get a couple of crosswalks um, linking the Breck Park to the other side of 964, whether that be Ravenwood, Lake Point, just a safe place for kids to cross, because right now we're playing Frogger across that. Um, we have a couple of new restaurants coming on this end that I think are interested in putting crosswalks in, so that will make this whole little area just really walkable, and yes. especially the residents here, just start walking. Cool. Uh, and then Zachary, the style is to uh, buy a golf cart. So uh, are these going to be golf cart friendly sidewalks? Is that legal or do people really need to just kind of bite the bullet and, and uh, walk? You can ride a bike. Um, I have, I'm not ruling out golf carts. Yeah. I know, I think the Americana is like maybe six feet sidewalk, so okay. golf cart's going to eat up most oh, yeah. of that space. So yeah. we're trying to fit enough so the traffic can go both directions. Beautiful. Okay. game we have for you is called fill in the blank all right we're gonna okay. kind of take it easy and we're gonna ease into the more difficult challenges so uh, finish the sentence my favorite thing to do on Friday night in Zachary is dinner and pickleball at the YMCA okay and I'm not lying all right. <laughs> um, the last Netflix show I've been was not much on TV, but I would say it would either be Friends or Downton Abbey, which is kind of an old one, but... Yeah, yeah, okay, even I watched Downton Abbey. Yeah. Um, I, it didn't make me cry. Uh, to, uh, I like that to, era. To stay informed, I read, uh, or uh, I read daily. Is Facebook going to answer? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I like Fox News, honestly. Okay. So that'd probably be my go-to. Gotcha. The most common thing my teenagers say to me is? Well, one group would say I'm hungry, and the other one would say I need money. <laughs> Got it. All right, next game. We passed the first series of challenges. Uh, this one's called Write the Headline. All right, so it would work like this. I give you a topic, and you can write the headline you would like to see in the news. So, for example, if I say traffic, you would say something like, Zachary citizens finally learn how to make a left turn on a four lane. Make sense? I would have to say Zachary residents finally learn how to use a roundabout. Okay. <laughs> I, I'd need to learn how to do that first. Maybe we can put a PSA out about that. That's right. Um, okay. So the first one, Diversion Canal. I'll write the headline. Okay. Diversion Canal. Um, this, this is a hard game. Diversion Canal, not a place to fish. <laughs> and I'll say that because I think the Diversion Canal should be entertainment as well. Bike trails, ah. fishing, boating, and we're just getting a canal. That's catching me off guard. So I grew up in Metairie, Louisiana, where me a canal... Too. Oh, you're... Okay, yeah, a canal was a place to play. It yes. was a water feature. Yes. It was, like, you don't drink the water, but you can get, catch a garfish. A turtle? Anyway. Can't do it here. We digress. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we don't want to see uh, Zachary as inundated with water as yeah. better. But, uh, okay. Restaurants in Zachary. Headline. Tacos, anyone? Okay. <laughs> Zachary 2035. That'd be a good one. Um, all electronic, of course. Um, hopefully... We're on our electric bikes, which I'm hoping it's actually a pedal bike, but you know, everybody likes something that's electric or to move you fast, teleport all over town with bike trails, um, areas to meet, greet, play, hang out, um, eat in every corner. I just hope that we're just a really, um, uh, what I'm looking for, a progressive city, mm -hmm. but yet people want to come home here. Yeah. Zachary Downtown Development. That is interesting. Um, I think there will be a development. I would like to see something that meets the eye of everybody, your entire family. 
I know for my people, we sometimes don't want to go to farmer's market because it's boring. Or we don't want to go, all of us don't want to go. We have too right. many age groups. Uh -huh. But if we had something you know, that everybody could enjoy, um, and I'm going to reference other cities, you know, they have places you can fish, places you can shop, you can get coffee, you can have dinner, but it's all right there. It's yeah. all together. Every age group in your family would be able to do that. So that's what I would hope, yeah. you know, for our community. So downtown something for everyone? Right. Okay. <laughs> All right, next game. This is called, uh, for lack of a, a better title, Two Truths and a Lie About Our Town Namesake, Daryl Zachary. Um, where's my title here? It's, uh, did we really go with this? The, the Daryl is a lie, okay? So it's two truths and uh, one lie. So you have to pick out the lie, okay? On your sheet? Huh? On your sheet? No, 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 no there's, a, there's no okay. cheating. Okay. Um, you can read along with me if you'd like. Okay, so basically, uh, we're going to go A, B, and C. Pick out the line. Got okay. it? So you've got a 66.6 .6 chance of success. And it, here's a hint. It's sure to slip you up. Okay. So A, Daryl Zachary donated land to Illinois Central Railroad every five miles from Memphis to New Orleans. One of those donations was Zachary. Okay. So hold on to that one. Second. B. Zachary was caught on fire by a green grocer apparently flame ripening his bananas in 1903. <laughs> Truth or what? And C. Zachary was caught on fire by the Bonanno crime family apparently extorting a green grocer in 1903. Which one of those is a lie? I think. A and B is a line. One, one, only, only one is one a line. Can be a line. Only one is a line. Oh, then it has to be B then. The banana fire. The banana fire is in fact true. No way. Yes. I knew we caught on fire. But we caught on fire, but, but yeah, I've heard so many different versions of the story. It was due to some guy flaming his bananas apparently, and I knew there was, was a fire. bucket brigade. Right. So okay. There was a bucket brigade. Yes, they saved the depot. This is why we don't have a lot of uh, built-up downtown <laughs> historic homes. We've got we've got a few. Yeah. Um, so basically, my goal is I'd like to see uh, in 2022. Let's let let's make a Daryl Zachary icon and kind of nerd out over him. Um, just like Jedediah Springfield or something. Let's like put some thought into that. Yeah, okay. We'll keep working with this. That's good. Laura, this was fantastic. Do you, yeah, thank you. Yeah, do you want to just riff on anything or, or <laughs> go off on rants and raves? Or, I mean, this is your, your moment. Rants and raves? Uh, there's lots of rants. I wish people had more raves because we do live in such a great city. There's so much potential. Uh, we have so many great businesses that have taken time and a lot of money to invest in us. And I hope we all get out. Visit them. Um, more importantly, come out to the Y. We have some great things going on out there. So awesome. Well, this was a pleasure, and hope to do it again soon. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for watching Porch and Parish, the podcast. The full episode is available wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to like and subscribe.